last game at their old home. As the Saints prepare to move to Waverley, about 30,000 fans bid a final farewell to the Moorabbin mud. The emotion was running high as the Black, White and Red Army said goodbye to 27 years of Saints history. The sign said it all. The Linton Street Oval has been the scene of some great highs and some terrible lows for St Kilda fans. No, I just think it's a shame. They'll lose, lose that many supporters. It's ridiculous. I'll be out there to see Waverley, but it won't be the same as here. The atmosphere here, I mean, you're all part of it today. It's brilliant. There was sadness. One fan brought a floral wreath. Children wore badges to prove to their children that they were there on the day the gates closed at Moorabbin. Cowboy the plugger from Carl to the dock to all the saints who made the grandstand rock. The good times, the bad times, the bit of the sweet, thanks to the memories of Winton Street. Not bad, eh? Mark Gillies, 10 Eyewitness News. Kilda enjoyed a hard-fought win against Fitzroy in its 254th and final match today at Moorabbin. The Lions tried gallantly to spoil the Saints going away party, but fell short by 17 points. Lockett, who was taken off the ground just before half-time, returned to kick six goals. St Kilda's last game at Moorabbin started with a little bit of magic from Dale Kickett. The Lions, not to be outplayed, set up Osborne after some fine play up the ground. But for the majority of the opening term, the Saints had control. Bowie snapping truly, and Lockett's big hands working overtime for successive goals. The second term saw both sides miss easy opportunities around goal, and the frustration showed. Lockett twice wrestled with Fitzroy players after different incidents. He was dragged after giving away his second 50-metre free kick. It took 25 minutes for the first goal of the quarter, Winmar giving the Saints a 32-point lead. Lockett reappeared after the break for a morale-boosting mark, and when Devonport gold, it was all St Kilda. Somehow late in the term, the Lions rallied, Johnston's after a 50-minute free kick, and Osmond's fourth off the ground had reduced the margin to six points. But St Kilda steadied, Lockett showing some dash for his fifth, and then Devonport's 70-metre goal capped off a memorable day for the Saints.